Did you guys have any sort of relationship with Gino Hernandez at all? I did. Um, I was there, of course, and Gino died also. Um, that was uh, um, an unexpected um, thing. Gino was on top of the world. Uh, I, um, of course, you know, uh, was a lot like Ric Flair, you know, uh, he, he shared everything he had, you know, he, he, he never went into a bar where Gino didn't pay and same with Ric Flair, you know, you just, you go into a bar and they're there, your drinks are free, um, and Gino was first class. I I was I rode with Gino. Um, I didn't ride with him too many times. If you ride with him once, you'll know what I'm talking about. He drove a Porsche, and he thought he owned the highway, and he would leave when we would. When we would leave for a town, you know, we'd go an hour early. Gino would go at 10 till, you know, 10 minutes to get there. And he'd make it, buddy. And it was scary. Um, but Gino was the hell of a guy. Um, don't know. You know, I've heard and seen the stories um, and been asked. Uh, before and I, I I got no clue what happened. Um, unfortunately, the I, I heard um, this a guy that I was friends with in Atlanta before he even got in the business. He I worked at a gym in Atlanta when a, Michael Hayes was teaching me how to wrestle. Well. When I got into wrestling, Michael got me in Texas, and then Rick wanted in, and he had taken good care of me at the gym. So they brought Rick in, uh, Rick Hazard, as a referee. Well, Rick and Gino were close, and uh, Rick found Gino dead in his condo and if you know Rick Hazard he's a lovable guy but his mouth is so big he actually told on himself for destroying evidence and blah, uh, doing things that got him in trouble so you know I haven't personally talked to him so I don't know well, I take I take that back. When he when it happened, he was just running his mouth about how I found him and how sad that was to find him. It had obviously been dead for longer than uh, expected, so it was a gruesome sight supposedly. Um, but. Rick, uh, Rick, like I say, Rick just can't help it. He's, it's in his DNA. He just talks, talks, talks. Uh, and that's why he made a great referee. He was very good at what he did. Uh, but he was, he was actually moved into the office where he handled the money on, uh, spot shows. Um, so he was, pretty much the, uh, you know, important figure at uh, world class. And uh, he, um, but he actually was the one who physically found Gino Hernandez. And obviously there's some rumors about what happened. Did he ever say or did he ever speculate on what he thought happened? I know he got rid of some of the evidence. Well, uh, no, he, he, well, you know, honestly, it's been too long ago. You know, I've, I've, 
I can't uh, really, to be honest, remember what he said. You know, of course, I'm sure he he might have told on himself back then. I just honestly don't remember. 